So we're being asked to find the indefinite integral of x ln x, so solution. Now, I haven't done this in a while, but my gut tells me that we should use integration by parts. Uh, the reason is that a substitution will probably not work. So when using integration by parts, you first have to pick your u and your dv. So in this case, the obvious choice for u is ln x because it's easy to differentiate. And dv will be x dx. All right, now we find du. du will be 1 over x dx. And v will be x squared over 2. All right, when we integrate x, we get x squared over 2. All right, so if you don't remember the formula for parts, uh, it says that if you have u dv, that's the integral of uv minus the integral of v du. Pretty easy to remember. Uh, just keep saying it over and over again until you uh, memorize it. Okay, I'm going to call this i. Uh, so we don't have to write it down again. So I, well, let's see, it's uv, so x squared over 2, ln x, minus the integral of v du. So I'm going to pull this 1 half outstairs, outside, not outstairs. Uh, so this is x squared times 1 over x dx. All right, that looks okay. So let's keep going. So this is x squared over 2, ln x, minus 1 half, the integral of x dx. All right, so we end up with x squared over 2, ln x, minus 1 half, x squared over 2, plus some arbitrary constant. Um, and then to finish, I guess we can multiply the 2. So x squared over 2, ln x, minus x squared over 4 plus our constant. And that's it. That's how you integrate x times the natural log of x.